Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code bi-weekly contest 80. Uh, it's an easy level problem. The problem name is strong password checker 2. Uh, so the problem statement says that uh, a password is said to be strong if it satisfied all the following criteria. So these are the criteria mentioned. Uh, the first one says that uh, it should have at least 8 characters. Uh, the second says that uh, we should have at least one lowercase character. The next one says that we should have at least one uppercase character. We should have at least one digit and one special case character. So these are the special case characters which the question says that uh, it should have um, at least one of the characters mentioned here. Uh, these are known as special characters. And the last one says that uh, it does not contain two characters at adjacent positions. Like for example, A, A, B violates this condition because we have two A's present at adjacent positions, but that is not true for A, B, A. So A, B, A is a valid, uh, is a valid case if, if we talk about this condition. So uh, given a string password, return true if it is strong, otherwise return false. So these are the uh, conditions that we need to check. So uh, nothing fancy. Uh, we just need to write the code, whatever the problem says. Uh, check each and every condition and then we are good to go so uh, let's see one of the examples so this is a password and if we see then uh, all the criteria are met for this password uh, the length is greater than 8 uh, it has at least one lowercase characters we can see here it has at least one uppercase character uh, it has one digit uh, so yeah that is that is also true uh, it has one special special character we can see uh, the last one is a special character uh, and also it does not contain uh, uh, a character at two adjacent positions so that means uh, this it satisfies all the conditions so we are good to go and we return true in this case however if we look into the second example then we can see that uh, we have same character this hyphen present at two adjacent positions so we return false in this case and if if we see for the last test case then we see that the length of the string is less than 8 so again we return false so let's see how the code looks like uh, whatever the question says just check each and every condition and we are good to go so the first one is related to length so if the length is less than 8 then just just return false and then we have we have taken a variable for each and every condition so these are the four variables the first one is for uppercase the second is for a lower case one for digit and one for special character so these are the special characters that are uh, that the question says uh, that these are the eligible special characters so we traverse we see what is the current character we see that if it is a lower case character then we, we uh, make this variable as true similarly we do, do this for upper case character we do, do this for digit we do this for special character so for special character what we have done is that we, we check whether the current character is present in the given string or not that means this string this special character string if that is given then we make special character as true similarly for uppercase and digit we, we uh, change the value of these these variables and uh, this is an extra condition it says that so this is for for checking that two adjacent uh, two adjacent positions should not have the same character so here we see that if i is greater than zero then we check for the previous position that, that if current character equals to the previous character then return false else if we come out of this loop we check that if all these are true then we return true else we return false so uh, yeah this this is the solution uh, uh, an easy problem an easy problem just it asks for the implementation part and the time complexity for this one will be big of n and no extra space is required so yeah it will be sort of over because it doesn't depend on the length of the character so yeah uh, see you in the next video bye bye